Hey, what is up guys? Anthony here. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a 1930s Woolrich bib flannel. Um, and I'm also going to be trying it on and basically showing like how these true vintage pieces could be fitted because I always kind of just put it on, show kind of how it fits. I want to actually put on a fit that you could probably get away with wearing and no one would really like I said, think you're wearing a clown uniform because I think people are under the impression that if you wear something from the 1930s, you have to dress in all 1930s attire. Like, so here's here's the thing right here. Like, I think your first impression and my first impression too would be like, you can only wear these with like dark wash jeans, right? You can only wear these dark wash jeans and like cowboy boots like they did in the 30s, right? Um, but there's so many other ways to style this thing, to be honest, because flannels are so... Um, like wearable, man, they're so wearable. Um, and the bib flannel is not an exception to that rule. Um, so you can kind of see the full length. It's a pretty long um, flannel. You can see kind of the, the sleeve size compared to the length. Um, it is pretty long. Um, you can see the back too. It's just, like I said, that nice buffalo plaid. You never see these in buffalo plaid. Um, show you like the buttons and stuff too like that this is kind of how you'd wear it like if you were just going to wear it out in my opinion you just kind of unbutton the top right here and wear it out because you could actually button it all the way up and i'll show you that right now um so you could butt it, button it right here and you could also button it um right here so i'm actually going to talk a little bit just a little bit about the history of the bib uh flannel so um they were used for like war or something um, and they made it into like Western fashion. People started wearing it just to like, like I said, it was kind of a fashion staple in, in the West and like the sort of beginning like Levi's era. So like, we're talking like the 18, 1870s to like the 19, like literally this was probably like one of the last models made, um, like right around that pre-World War II. Um, so yeah, and here's what it looks like. All buttoned up there's actually an extra button right here um, there's buttons all over the place and this thing is crazy because I actually found this in the bins um, and I went for it because I saw the tag and I was thinking oh it's an old Woolrich flannel that's awesome like this is all I saw like peeking out of the bins and I saw like the buffalo plaid I was like oh this is sick so I got it and I thought it was from the 50 like the whole time I was at the bins until I got home and I did a little bit of like tag research and actually this like bluish label is not bluish why am i say blue green label is actually from like the 30s it is from the 30s and not like it is from the 30s um there's a this is a heavily documented tag 100 percent from the 30s um and yeah pretty crazy piece um i mean there's not really much else to say about it just the fact that it's like i said it's a crazy rare piece um and if you're going to wear this, you're going to have to get a little bit creative uh, with the fits. Um, you can't just wear something kind of uh, basic. So for the first time in any of my videos, you're going to see a different angle of my house. And you're going to have to turn your phone for this segment of the video. Okay, so now I'm going to show the fit right now. So I'm going to put my camera right here. You're probably going to have to turn your phone to see it. Um, and I'll basically give you like a full rundown of what I'm wearing right now. Get a little bit better angle here. I'll show you basically how I'm wearing it. Stay. Okay, good. So, just the one button on top, not buttoning that. You could go two buttons, but it's kind of too low for me, and I don't really like how the white contrasts with the the buffalo plaid. Um, so I'm gonna button like one more and just keep it like this, and just have this part hanging down. And if you do button it all the way, it will look it will look kind of weird, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, it looks more casual if you're wearing it like this. Um, I'll show you basically the fit. Um, the wind kind of sucks, honestly. You'll probably barely see me, but um, it basically like this. A little rundown, because this is like a fall fit. Um, I can show you the shoes real quick. Shoes are like Doc Martens. I thrifted these like a couple weeks ago. Um, they are for sale, um, but it's a really kind of weird model of docks. Um, they're not vintage or anything. They're just kind of pair of docks. I don't know. Um, and then I got some Tommy socks. 
but I rolled them so you couldn't really see the logo. Um, and some just like modern Columbia cargo shorts. But yeah, I'm open to critiques about this fit or, you know, things that I can improve on. But I'm just trying to kind of make a fall fit for this. Um, show it one more time. You see, it's kind of a basic fit. It doesn't really stick out. It doesn't look like too crazy clownish or anything like that. It kind of just looks like a chill fit that you just wear. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's the 1930s Woolrich bib shirt trying on and review. So, thank you.